today we're at Flower Power's production facility in Sydney and we're going to be speaking with one of their head growers, David Lee, to find out exactly what makes Sun Parasol so special. So tell me David, you've uh, been working with Sun Parasol now for quite a few years. What are the main differences you see with Sun Parasol compared to other Mandevilla on the market? I think uh, the branching habit is the one of the most important things and because of that multi-branching habit, the number of flowers that we get is incredible and uh, just have a look at the just look wow. at the number of flowers and buds that are on that plant. That is incredible. Is the heat of summer going to cause any problems with uh, the blooming of no, the sun parasol? No trouble at all. It can take uh, the heat without any problems at all. It just seems to just keep budding and keep growing. It's right. a fantastic plant. Well, I guess it is a subtropical plant at the end of the day, so uh, it's probably quite comfortable under those warmer temperatures. Yes, yeah, certainly. But what about the sunlight? Does it need to be under full sun to get this result? I notice we're under some covers today. Um, or does it, is it happy uh, in some filtered light as well? Well look Matt, I, you know, we grow it here under a fair amount of light and it gets a lot of buds, but I've got it in my own garden at home, growing magnificently and it's coming into bud now. It's got masses of buds it, coming all in over. In full sun now. is it? Full sun, I've got some in and I've got some in uh, semi-shade as well. It's just performing just as well. As well there you go. So it really sounds like sun parasol, despite the wonderful show of blooms you can see here on the plants, really isn't that hard to grow at all. Just give a good light, preferably full sun, um, a nice free draining soil. It doesn't like to get too much water around its roots and a regular fertiliser every three to four months should do the trick. We've just heard from David Lee about what makes Sun Parasol so unique. But what I really love about Sun Parasol is the fact that it comes in three completely different types of plant. But they've got three groups now, the pretty group, the classic group and the giant group. And each type of sun parasol now offers unique benefits that we can all enjoy at home. The first one is the pretty group. It has smaller flowers, but is a really vigorous climber. So these are certainly great in trellis, in large decorative pots, where you want a lot of bloom. That's the pretty group. The other group is the classic group, which is the diplodenia type, which you're probably familiar with. Again, great for mass landscaping or in hanging baskets. But a plant that if you give it too much sun really does remain pretty much as a shrub. And then thirdly is the giant group. Now this is a plant that hasn't reached its full potential by any means. But you can just see how huge these flowers are. Now the giant types come in pink, white and a beautiful crimson. The giant ones have much bigger leaves and are true climbers. So they'll go up over a carport, a trellis, a pergola. You name it, these things will climb. Their beautiful sized flowers makes them a real eye stopper. So look out for them. Sun Parasol Pretty, Classic and Giant. I was mentioning before about Sun Parasol Giant types. They come in white, pink and crimson. Well, this is the white one, Giant White. And using these types in large decorative pots is ideal. Here's a nice 400 millimeter decorative pot with uh, four plants in it. As I say, this is giant white and give this plant another two to three months and it's going to be up about a metre, metre and a half on some beautiful trellis, full of bloom. It's the middle of spring and I'm here at the beautiful Flower Power Garden Centre on Sydney's Northern Beaches to talk about Sun Parasol and what makes it so unique. I'm lucky enough to have Justin Taylor with me, the manager of, of the store. Justin. Clearly Sun Parasol is very popular with your customers. What's going on? Why is it so popular? I believe, Matt, it's, it's the flowering, it's the growth habit, it's the versatility of it. You use it in hanging baskets, you use it as a staked ornament in a pot, you can use it as a ground cover. Right. I mean, a lot of us uh, know Mandevilla, right? And uh, we're used to seeing it on your fence or your, over the carport or pergola. Definitely. But uh, I can't help but see what you've also brought along here. It's, yes. uh, it's a basket. I mean, who would have thought to put... Uh, yeah. Sun parasol in a basket. We grow these on our main fence throughout the nursery. We're, we're doing them in the hanging baskets for sale as well. They're thick, they're full, they're bushy, they just flower intensely. Give them a little nip back every now and then. Yep. And feed them, you know, once they're blue moon. Yep. Bob your once uncle. every few months with a slow once, release. Yeah, definitely. Right. As I mentioned earlier, sun parasol comes in three types the pretty types, the classic types, and the giant types. Well, I found a great example of the classic type, which sits more as a shrub and rather than a climbing plant, which is typical of the pretty and the giant types. So this is classic crimson fantasy. 
with its beautiful dark red flowers. And you can see that the plant's going to get to no more than about 40 to 50 centimetres in height and probably about a metre wide. It's going to sit nicely on top of this retaining wall and come just over to the edge of the wall without needing regular pruning and maintenance. So it's early in the season, so give this plant another a few more weeks and it will be in full bloom and look absolutely stunning. Now I was here later in the season last year and I took a great shot of this very same garden bed in full bloom. So you can see for yourself that given time and the right position, Sun Parasol is also terrific on its own in a garden bed. Well there you have it. So whether it be landscaping throughout the garden or over your favourite fence or carport as a climbing plant or even as we've seen today as a hanging basket, you can really see the versatility of Sun Parasol. So when you're next up here on the beautiful northern beaches of Sydney, why don't you drop into your local flower power store or any other good quality retailers around Australia and check out Sun Parasol for yourself. Thanks Justin. No problem.